Stand. Leave a face. I like her pretty. For my character, season two is about fitting into his role as king. Killing you would send your brother a message. He's testing his limits and kind of finding that he doesn't have any limits. The king can do as he likes! Joffrey is, is the ruling king, and in Cersei's mind, it was a great idea until the beheading. You did nothing when your son called for Ned Stark's head. Joffrey's relationship with Cersei has certainly gone through quite a, a change. He was always his mother's pet, so to speak. She doesn't have any grip on Joffrey. He's power crazed. I'm sure if you asked, Grandfather. The king does not ask. He commands. He's grown up a bit, and as adolescent teenage boys do, they they rebel, especially in the position that Joffrey has with power. She's struggling with this monster that she's created and that she loves. Our enemies will say anything till we can just claim to the throne. It's not a claim. The throne is mine. The numerous people fighting for the throne. There's Stannis, Rob Stark, and Renly. I'm sure Tyrion would like to get in on the action. Tyrion thinks Joffrey is a far less than adequate king. Take him away! I'll have him kill tomorrow, the fool. Joffrey is vicious, but he's also not very smart, so he's an easy target. Joffrey is king. You are here to advise him. Only here to advise him. Joffrey thinks that he has the right to do these things just because he is the king. So he's the kind of ruler that does what he wants when he wants. He doesn't think things through. He doesn't have any empathy for anybody. For him, it's a lot about establishing his power. That will be all, Mother. <laughs>